All right, guys. All right, guys. Welcome to another part. We're uh, back and ready, and and we already had it set up, so we don't have to spend a lot of time getting to the beginning. But yeah, so so right now we're talking to Monica about why Sayori is feeling a little bit down. So it's getting a little bit interesting right now. So let's see what happens. Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but. Siri talks about you more uh, more than anything else, you know? Eh. She's been so much happier ever since you've joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Siori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now that I'm here. <laughs> You're so funny, PNT. Have you thought that maybe you also always seen her as so cheerful? Can you talk for the PT now? I don't like talking. All right. Because that's just how she is when she's around you. Ugh. Dot, dot, dot. Man, this is hard to do. Uh, I said too much. I'm sorry. What, what do I know anyways? I didn't mean to jump to con conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk her to her myself, so try not to think about it for now. Eh. All right. Monica smiles pe meaningfully. I know she said she said to forget about it, but I already know that I want to be. I won't be able to get her words out of my head. Oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, Monica stands up from her desk and walks around the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She keeps her voice so quiet that I can hear her from here. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how, do, how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm... What, the one behaving out of the ordinary. That's not what I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Yuri, or suddenly I notice Yuri peering from me out of, for, over her book. She looks away just as quickly, just with a flustered look on her face. I always that she won't get anywhere like this. I never seen Yuri approach anyone or, a converse, or start a conversation on her own with Record. I have no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. I stand up on my desk and sit in one next to her own. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. Rex, you didn't do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. But not that I was standing or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Don't apologize. Your, trouble, uh, your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in their concern. Of course, there are certainly those who'd, who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mood, then I, I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not really that big of a deal. I was just feeling a little bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her, she didn't want to admit to me. So I can't help but wonder if, she, if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? Sorry. I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sarah and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Perhaps 
it it is unusual t for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into a little too much. PNT. The world is full of meaning often, hidden deep beneath plain sight. And there is there is untold mysteries behind no one cares. Ah. So you think there might be something behind it after all? Mm-hmm. I think that Sayori is a very complex person. Okay. Her mannerism on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. And I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looks like she was fully occupying your thoughts. All right, let's just like skip all this. My good friends, well, you know, uh, I just, I just know you. Wow, uh, I don't think we want to be friends anymore. Uh, I'm, I'm leaving the literature club. What? No, don't leave the literature club. I bought. Okay, everyone. So by the time I get calls out to the club, why don't we share our poems? All right, let's just skip through all these poems. Okay, let's give it. An, uh, we'll get this time. We'll go in the middle. Let's do Natsuki first. We've already done it. And then we go to Yuri, it. then Monica and Sayori last. Because, well, just do Sayori first. Why don't you, no, just do uh, someone I would want to skip. Do Natsuki. <sighs> hmm. It's nice, I guess. Oh. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. We should have wrote one for it. Sayori! After all, you wrote for someone else, didn't you? No. Probably Natsuki. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making no friends. Just like I was hoping. You're happy no, too. I'm so I happy. Good. Care. Anyways, yeah. I don't. It, it's so care. happy. I'm just. Don't worry about it. You can go pull everyone else now. Princess. Yay. I'm gonna go home a little bit. Sayori. Sayori. Tell my guy I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. What? Did she just leave? We don't even get to see her poem. Wait, did she even bring a poem? Wait, something's off. Something's off. Finally, it, this is what is it's... it's this is not you usual. See, something's off. We have to write something about Sayori next time. Yeah, Sayori's a little off. I think you finally understand. Here's the one I wrote. I'll be your... Here, let's just skip the first part. Uh, a shore beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with bright, brilliant light. The wall in your mind will melt away before. I'll be the beach that washes you away. I'll be the beach that, that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that lives you in the lake. You said it left you all so long ago. Your uh, beach very heather, heather, I mean heavily, heather, heavy thoughts in pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in a windy sail. And and remember the reason you're wonderful when you put press your lips to mine. A beach a beach that washes your worries. I'll be the beach that you daydream about e each day. I'll be the beast that makes you heart leap in a way. I'll be the beast. Oh wait, in, in a, a way, way you thought you, you, you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, side your own beach, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. Huh? That was a good one. Yeah. 
felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Wait, that's my one. It's like the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with, with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. And after a year, Erie and I realized that we had, we kind of wrote about the same thing. She wanted to pick a topic that have us both write about it. Who uh, wouldn't? You can see, you can really see her doing that too. Because we leave really about the same topic by coming up with something all fancy. Well, that like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up kind of being metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. All right, we're gonna go to Yuri now. Skip the first part, don't care. I'm sorry, Yuri. Is it a skip the door? Well, I disagree. I, uh... Okay, the options. Um, you know, just give me it. Well, all right, press up on the camera. All right. I see. I'm not overthinking of these sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Overthinking being disliked. Yuri. What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Yeah, okay. Here. Beach. Oh, wait, they both wrote about the beach. I can't read this. Beach. A beach. A novel, I think. A novel. A marvel. A marvel million, millions of years in the making. When, when the womb of Earth collector meets the sun face, under a clean blue sky and expanse of bliss. But underneath, under beneath, great. Um, it's just viewers. You can read this. The easy. Is one, let me just one build a sand castle where the sand is set, but where the sound is wet. The tide comes, will it gently lick your foundations? Give us, I'll just read the bottom part. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is there, there, whatever. The breeze is gentle. You power. Get yet powerful. I seek my toes into the ultimate boundary line. Tempted by the f the foamy tendrils, turn back and I abandon my peace to in to a ro to road at the shore. N knife forward. Okay. Yeah, hold on, we'll be right back. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of it in me. I'm back. It was thing to write about, but I did. Yeah, that Suki wrote about this too. She did. She didn't say anything. Where did she? She no. just wanted us to write about the same topic, I guess, or again. I suppose to, to better compare the differences in our writing styles or thoughts pr processes. Process. Oh. Anyways, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wanted, wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her respect talks about I don't care. All right, last up is Monica. Now we're just gonna... Hi, P.T. No one cares. <laughs> Hi, P.T. No one cares. <laughs> uh, we just want to see your poem. If it's long, I'm not reading it. Something Monica says, something Monica says. Monica says something, Monica says something. The crowd's play and... Okay, the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells a lady who wanders, who wanders earth. The lady knows everything. I interrupted. Anyways, a bit of a
are a all meaning, all purpose, and all that that ever saw in a. Okay. Right. It all that ever saw it I have here a father Ow. Alright, oh, uh, my bad. Uh, or a feather. <laughs> lost it in uh fade uh victor, Lost it drift uh, the sky, but then with the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist, but when all else has fell on me, the all others have turned away. The legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmer I'm not finished! Until, until until one day the wind in creek does that say cease ceases to blow i fall and i fall and fall and fall even more gentle as a feather a dry gill or whatever expressionless but a hand catches me between the thumb of my forehand the head of a beautiful lady i look at her, her and find no end of her gaze the lady, the lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount uh, to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a brief, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Hmm. Wow. Okay, I like that one. You know. Wow, maybe you'll be as good as me one day. Can no one get it? So, oh, oh, wow, that was really inspirational. Well, thanks. Okay, happy girl thoughts, happy girl thoughts, happy girl thoughts. You know, okay. happy girl things, happy girl things, happy girl things. Maybe you'll become as good as me one day, Monica. Okay, finally. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing the poems, right? Hold oh. on a second. Is it me or did you just say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Cat catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez! <laughs> Why is the wind so weird today? Look, even uh, Gary isn't immune to it. You, you, straightening air is common, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, In your maybe. It's like the only thing different is that's the or is it here. Ah, it seems you're right. Sigh. Siori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she went to use the bathroom. Natsuki, please show some de 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 decency. Oh, oh come on. Uh, she she was actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's all right. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you picked it, picked the time that she's not feeling well. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Eh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of a bit avoiding me today. I don't, I didn't want to force it. Who? Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier, and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I didn't know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you make them all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, uh, maybe, um, guys, 
Can you help me come up with some, something for Yuri? I, I'm useless. No, you are. <laughs> I had, I accidentally unplugged my mic. That's not at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Mm -hmm. Nanatsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I, 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 I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can also, if I can also be a leader on my own, then I will grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help the app set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I, I love that atmospheres. Yuri's expression changes on her face. She starts stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyways, that just leaves you, P.A.T. The one who is truly useless. Haha, <laughs> don't say that. No, uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy takes to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You can help, always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Eh, uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a, a bit of help. Well, well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could get to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt all day anyway. I think you just mumble a little much of it's using like that. Um, if I recall Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. PT may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may for, he may be more suited by assisting me with decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard can I make him a few decorations anyway? So, so I can make excuse for BNT too. What are you saying? It will be extremely metrous work. And baking is it? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle this for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to PNT to decide he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the choice to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in you. You literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. No. Jeez. Yeah. Ah. PT, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, very well. In that case, everyone looks at me straight. Let's just see Yuri, let's just see Yuri. I feel bad. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and but Monica said, Monica said Sayuri was was helping her. He, do you really hate us that much? Wait, why am I doing your lines? Ah! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the complicated. Really, we can't just say Yuri. Should we do Yuri? Which one should we do? Let's do Yuri. Well, I'd probably be most useful helping on Yuri. B, are you, wait. Are you serious? Natsuki, I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No, 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 no. I, I was just saying. Ah, ah, uh. So you'll be helping Yuri, p &T. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. Uh, 
just gonna skip yeah, these. Yeah, we'll yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we. Okay, so now we know we're gonna help you with your decorations. I wonder if we send Natsuki. Would we go to her house or would we just stay at the room? Sorry that I glanced, uh, let's see, uh, I exchanged phone numbers. Oh, we exchanged phone numbers. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. At my no. house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought I would be the one going to your house since I'm the one helping you. I, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. All right. In that case, I would won't be, it won't be a problem. I decided for Yuri. I hope I manage myself as in some way. I want to go to see Yuri's house. Not because, because I just want to check on her, you know? Yeah, I kind of feel bad for Isaiah right now. She's, she's going through a lot right now, I think. Okay, we're just gonna skip through this. I feel like they're forgetting that Sayori exists. I can't believe it. Yuri's going to come with me to my house on Sunday. Even though I would have preferred it to do this with Sayori, my anxiety will still shoot through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who would be outside? Oh, who is it? It's already Sunday. I've been getting increasing Yuri's upcoming visit. Oh okay, yeah, no doubt that she's coming, Yuri. But I've seen. Oh, I'd like to visit Sayori before Yuri comes over. I'd rather see. Once I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we're, we were family. The house is quiet. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. Oh no, what's happening? It's already strange. She's already run down and greeted to me. I head up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Sayori? Oh, okay. Hi, oh. PNT. I sit I down. down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell she's different. There's minutes of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? The Yuri's room is as messy as it always has been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she had for years now. <laughs> you come over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. It's because I always end up cleaning it for her. How many suddenly wanted to come over today? I just supposed to see Yuri today. Yeah, but, wait, how did you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided the last meeting. Monica told me. Someone asked for the key been for about the festival preparations, right? Yeah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you helping Monica today? Of, of course. I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, uh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. So Yuri stares in random directions. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you're doing. After you left on Friday, when something's wrong, I can't. You can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So. She already smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, B and D. Why can't you just be like, like it's always been? This is my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings, if I didn't make the stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have to worry about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even thinking about me right now. But this is my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. If that's, if it just, 
It just wants to torture me. Eh? <laughs> Signori. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself? Oh my god, what's wrong? Wow, I, I'm in shock. Wow, that's... Sayori has depression? That Sayori has depression? Why Sayori? Huh? Eh? Why is it that you never told me about this? Almost like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's only so much that I could do, I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little bit better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, PNT. Why do you think I didn't tell you? If I told you, you would have wished ever caring about me instead of doing important things. I didn't want to be cared at all. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes. It also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I wanted so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Having everyone to be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and getting closer with everyone in the club. It makes me a sp it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. I decided that the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads down, but to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand how you're feeling at all, Siri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you to stop hurting, that's what I'll do. <laughs> no PNT. There's nothing. Nothing at all. One thing that could help me is if everyone could be you know, like it was always, like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streak down from Sarah's face. I made you join the literature club because I was so selfish. I was punished by the heart longing in a way that I didn't understand. And I came here and I made you hurt too. And we can solve it. That's all I am. Because I don't just. Ah, Yanti. Siri. I don't care if you're selfish. If you're just selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it work well enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. Please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. PNT, Sayori isn't hugging me back. That's why my arms are being wrapped around her. Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this. Please don't do this. PNT. I... Uh, Sayori barely manages to speak before, between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing this right, the right thing. All I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in yourself, selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. If there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'd get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, she always pushes her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand anything of my feelings. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary too. So it lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. If I suppose tomorrow. Yeah. It's going to be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like to spend it all with, How would you like, like for me to spend it all with you? Um, uh, it's what I want, I promise. I, I think that would be nice then. Yeah. So you watch your eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all those days, this has been one of, this is one where I have other plans. 
Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for me and Yuri to meet at my house. But at the very least, you could come along and help out. It would be fun. No surprise. She always shaves her head. I'm sorry. I don't know if that would be good for me today. You understand, right? Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? All right. I'm looking forward to it. All right, now it's my turn to talk. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. That, 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 I, 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 we need to talk after this. Oh my, wow. I, this is, oh. I don't know what to say. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Y Yuri? Eh. Thank goodness. You're, you're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't over yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on the way home. I suppose that's true. I didn't think that for some reason. It should be common sense to do that, but I, did, I decided to ignore it. Anyways, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Yeah, pretty much. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it will be fine. Well, I'm sh I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously, which makes me feel anxious. It's so clean. Ha ha ha. I cleaned it before you came over, so that's that's very considerate of, of you to do. Ah, uh, no. I would be really embarrassed for my room to be a mess while you were here. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. Mm hmm I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. That would that would be even more embarrassing. Why aren't you talking? Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, I don't look in there. I snatch Yuri's wrist, boy, which was in the process of opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. It's fine. I let I let go of Yuri's wrist. She puts both of my both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making she's keeping track of them. So, um, should we get started? Yeah, uh, yes, uh, a few things, decorations, atmosphere. Uh. Speed run, baby. Is that so? Man, I can't believe we had to read through all that. I planned it. Okay, so basically she's painting stuff. Not familiar at all. Depending on the oils. Luxation. Yuri takes her time. Okay, we're just gonna have to speed run this because. A knife. Hey, That's hey. no ordinary oh, pocket knife. Pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, <gasps> she has a pocket knife with her. Okay. Uh, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Speed run, baby. The knife. Why are we talking about her knife? Fidget. Did you just say fidget? Yeah, like fidgets. Ooh. 
Oh, so she's a fidget girl now, huh? Uh, did you? Jeez, the showbot's talking. We would have been here for 15 minutes talking to her. All right, thank God that's done. After we finish appearing the room. It looks great. Good, th good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Ah, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Are you ready to move on to the next task? Yeah, let's do it. Create a banner. <laughs> Taking Yuri's advice, I think there's a small plastic bag. Yuri, yes. Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over her arm. I picked paint. I I picked the cups. All right, can we just like? Ah, uh, I feel a little too childish. Uh, the seat is so long. What? Even if it's something you like reading. Okay. So, guys, we're just gonna skip through all these parts. Cause sorry. Because it's too long, and we would probably have to make yeah. two videos on this one scene. Here, mm, I pat down Yuri's face and neck with a towel. <sighs> Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. So I really wanted a cool towel. Wait, oh, uh, just for a little longer. Okay. Whoa. Um, all right, well, okay. Okay, well, uh, that happened. Okay, well, um. Okay, a massive amount of talking. Wow, I, wow, this is really nice. Wow, yeah, we're having a fun time. What's your pack up for these? Thank you for having a fun day with me. Okay, did she just say she fidgets? Fidget! <coughs> yes, we Wait. I kind of like that about you. That's a little too close. Well, how am I supposed to respond? Wait, how am I supposed to respond to that? But Actually. I don't even get a chance as Yuri suddenly pulls back. S say Yuri! Eh? Eh? Ah! Hi, PNZ! Say Yuri! <laughs> it's okay, PNZ. I just stopped by to say hi. Um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry. But we'll be together at the festival tomorrow, so, so that's fine, right? Of course. Yeah. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sailor waves goodbye at her. After, see Yuri. I thought you didn't want to come over today. Ah, uh, well. But my imagination was really mean to me. I saw I had to come over here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much you're having fun with Yuri, and how close you got to her, makes me really happy. That that you that you've made such good such good friends. That's all what matters to me. Tears start to fall down to see his face. That's all that matters to me. I'm I, I am I'm supposed to be happy for you. I just feel like my heart is splitting in half. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. This is so much better if I could just disappear. See, see you. Don't say that. It's true, BNT. If it wasn't here, then you you wanna waste your time sympathy on me. You wanna have put put up with me being selfish. Monica was right. I should just Monica. Monica was right about what? Siri. What if I said before it's true? I'm not gonna let this continue. Caring about you like this is burning your mind. It's something that makes me happy. If something I wouldn't change for the world. Even if it takes an entire lifetime. I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But, Siri looks away. 
I put a hand on her shoulder to reserve. I'm scared, PNT. I'm really scared. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me. See you. Alright. We're I'm sorry that this is gonna be an hour long video, but this this is getting This is getting interesting. It's getting okay. interesting. We have I to was watch. weak and yeah. started to like you too much. I did this to myself, PNT. I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And then that's enough Sayori. I don't want you to hurt you anymore. I saw my hand and squeezed her hand on my in my own. Do you remember how much I said that what's for the best of you? Do you still believe me? Or else you say or not? Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings, I know you need the most right now. And that and that's what I'm going to give you. Give to you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Those are my true feelings. There's no way you you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with you every with everyone at the club, making new friends and having fun with you every day help me realize that you are the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept all accept any of your burdens. As long as we continue like this every day with you by my side. Then I know we'll both be happy. P and T. Let's see where he wraps around arms around me. Oh we have brown here. I mean P and T. Is this really okay? Yeah, I hold Sayori's arms in in my arms and pull closer. You never have to let go off me again. I love you, PNT. I want to be with you forever. Me too. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this, Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why, even now? Why won't the rain clouds go away? That's not all. That's, they're not going away at all, PNT. It's okay, so you're right. It might be uh, sometimes for, the, for things to get better again. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there to get a step every, of every way. That That's all what matters right now. Okay, I trust you. And Sarah and I slowly release each other. So, I guess that makes it possible tomorrow. Our first date, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? I want to make... I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always been. You know if we really are a couple. I don't know if I can handle any more right now. It's really new and scary to me, I understand. We'll go to whatever pace suits you best. Hey, PNZ. Here he gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. You mind if I get really sad? This really is the best thing for me, right? Eh? I really don't understand what Sayori means by that. Are you saying that this making you feeling sad, Sayori? I don't know. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns that you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. That's my promise. I see that, but I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain when it comes to Sayori. I know that I love her and she loves me. But. But I'm having more trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can get comfortable, I keep wondering if I should be doing something or something different. I, I'm gonna skip through this. I don't know. I was giving everything I got. Sayori's the most important to, person to me. I want a happy future. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's the day, it's the day of the festival. festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I'm concerned. I consider going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. Not only the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. The banner urine I painted is dry, and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me to not forget anything, and I reassured her. Funnily enough, I could probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm all excited to be for it to be over, so I can spend time with Sayori and Yuri at the festival. But. Knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will go great too. P and T, oh, right, that's you, Ryan. Oh, P and T, you're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That that's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is. Hmm. Wait, where's the music? I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Wait, where's Sayori? 
Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that out of all days, this is a point where she tried a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember when, what Sayori told me yesterday. I suddenly feel awful knowing it's not nearly for simple for her. I only said it because it's, it's, it's the way I'm used to thinking. But if I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, PNT. I mean, especially after you exchanged each with her yesterday. I just talked to her. You kind of left her hanging. Hang in this morning. What? What? Wait, what does she mean by kind of left her hanging? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm a club president after oh. all. But. Did she already. Um. That. I did. Wait. What does she mean by hanging? Don't worry, I probably know a lot more than you think. Monica being really, Monica's being really unusual. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out, right? Um, okay. Get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my What? Uh, what? What? Get out of my head, get out of my head. I do what I know is best for you. I listen to you, every, everything she said to me. I show you how much I love you. I finished writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. What? Wait. Um. Um. Beansy? What's wrong? Uh -huh. This poem feels I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori. Uh, well, try not to take too long. Don't strain yourself, Michael Kaza. I quicken my pace. Okay, okay, let's let's go get Sayori. She Okay, we Sayori. Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper as well. I can't believe I ended up doing this after we got her in her own house. That really is something a boyfriend would do after all. And it, gets, it just feels right. I think it's Sayori's room. I say, Sayori, wake up, tell me. There's no response. I really didn't have to like this. Is it pre with bios? She leaves me knows this. Sayori. <gasps> oh. What? What was what going on? What? What? Did, uh, did she? 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 No. she what's going on? Monica, Monica did this. What? I think what? She said hangy. What, what the heck? What the heck? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can't be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit just yesterday. I don't see that I would be there for her. I told her that I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is to care about her. Uh, why did I confess to her and make things feel worse? Why was I so selfish? It's my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her, like it always has been, then I couldn't have, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend, someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can do to bring her back. There isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. Now carry this guilt with me until I die. Hold on. Holy crap. That Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed for me. And now I can never take it back. Never. 
Never, 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 never. End. That, that, that's it? The game's over? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Wait, what Wait, happened to Sayori? What What's going on? Let's all the save files. Load the game, load the game. Uh, what? Wait, what? What's wrong with the music? Goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, Monica! Yeah, it, it has. Wait. She's definitely behind this. Supplies. Uh. Uh. Huh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? Yeah, to be honest with you. A literature club. Literature. That sounds kind of dull. How many memories do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there are only three of us so far. Three? Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, where? What about Sayori? Well, I can see that. Uh, Monica, maybe. What's going on? What's going on? Something's off. Uh, okay, let's go check it out, I guess. Walk. I'm back. I brought a guest with me. Uh, uh, what, what, what? Did you, did you see uh, that? A guest? Did you you brought a boy? Why did kill the atmosphere? Don't be mean, Natsuki. Don't be mean, oh, Natsuki. Wait, wait, wrong, wrong voice. But anyway, anyways, welcome to the club, PNT. Uh... All would escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Wait, this is this is the exact same storyline, but Sailor is gone. So, so let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? No, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with a sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first year student. Eh, she looks like a first grader. Wait, haven't I seen her before? Anyways, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. Or energetic as usual. Wait, the vice president! Vice... Wait, something is up. You're... Nice to meet you. Wait, wait, does that mean if Monica got deleted, does it, would that mean that... that... Yuri would be the president and Wait Monica Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to well, you know
convince, convince.